Hey y'all, it's Raven, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick, a quickie today, basically. It's gonna be a short video. Um, I'm gonna go back for the a little bit longer form version soon, but I wanted to cover something which is, uh, a, go a little bit more in depth on a, uh, another rule of thumb. Um, I don't really know what to call it, I kind of have been calling it the rule of fifths. And uh, it has to do with purport, overall proportion of your ship. So when you think of a ship, you think of you know your, your detailing, your interior, your exterior. But there, you can kind of think of it as your silhouette. This is the overall shape. If you look at this ship from a long ways away, or if you were to look at an actual silhouette style picture of your ship, what would you see? And what would you see from different angles? Now we're gonna cover just the top down view because I wanna show proportioning in general, but this is true for side on and um, and top down, but we're, we're really gonna cover top down in this particular video. And I'll go into other, other angles and stuff and I'll really cover silhouettes later on. So, um, let's get started. So first off, um, I, I grabbed a couple pictures and I made these because I'm, I'm, I'm so I want to start with this particular ship. This is the Akula. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. And you'll notice I, I split this into five sections. So you got the tail section, the very back, and then the cockpit section in the front. And you'll notice that the whole thing has a, I mean, it has an implied taper towards the front. Now that's actually not actually true to a certain extent because there's a wingy bit. So it's not exactly a proper taper. But you'll notice it flares out in the last two thirds, and that's what I'm really going for. Those uh, those side bits towards the front in the if you go, we're going left to right here, so the first third is all the way to the left, the little tailplane. So just so y'all are looking at the same thing I'm looking at. Um, so if you if you have a um, a flare out at the back, it tends to look better. Then give it almost like a delta wing sort of thing at the back. It, it that's where you expect it to be bigger, because that's where the engines are. Um, this is a rule that can be broken, and I've broken it myself. Um, and I'll cover those, but just remember, if you're gonna break a rule, you know, or a uh, a rule of thumb, know why you're breaking it and know how to break it. So one of the reasons that I cover this stuff is simply so that you understand what some of those quote-unquote rules of thumb are so that you understand why a ship might look good and if you want to break these rules it's good to know what the rules are because when you break these rules as Dal says and I believe he uh, got the quote from someone else and I don't know who um, you know it, it's been said if you're gonna break one of the rules of architecture your your prime number you know try to stick with prime numbers when you're laying out stuff um, especially three fives and sevens, then um, you really gotta break it. You know, go big, go home, make sure people know you broke it and know what you're doing when you did break it. And that that's the important thing. So we're, we're just covering these little rules. So um, I tend to look at these ships as, you know, these in five sections. So um, this one has the cockpit towards the front. And that takes up that front fifth, roughly. And then your main body is actually going to take up the next three. And then that back end is going to kind of take up the last one. But there's, I tend to flare out in the last two or the first two thirds, if you will, from the from the first two on the left. You know what I mean? Again, it's late as all hell, <laughs> and I'm recording this. But yeah, so let's go take a look at um, the next ship. Alright, so this is the Demeter, and it's a little bit of a rule breaker. Um, you'll notice it's got... It, it tends to be two parts, two of these fifths or whatever, are, are individual parts. So in this one, the engine is two fifths, and the front end is two fifths. But instead of having, you know, that... Um, the cockpit as that one fifth in the front, 
the the interior part when you look at the top is that one fifth that stands out on its own um having a little bit of that imbalance kind of seems to help and i'm not sure why um, but I found that when you split it, they become very distinct sections. Um, now this is obviously not a perfect picture, and I kind of threw this together. I did it in about 10 minutes, if that. Um, so try not to blame me. But, you know, when you look at things, you want to have distinct areas. That's really what I'm getting at, mostly. You want to have distinct areas, and uh, so that when you look at it, you look at it and say, that's definitely, you know, this part. And not just from color, although that can be a very big help, but just by shape. You know, if it's going to be a large addition to a ship, it should protrude. If it's supposed to be in line, but it's obviously not, um, you know, not... It, or if it's supposed to be distinct, you know, say a hanger or something like that, but not protrude. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you still need to make it distinct enough somehow. We're actually going to take a look at that with the next ship, and uh, but with this, I mean, it's it's pretty explanatory. Just I'm just trying to show you a few different ways that those that rule of thirds, I guess you could say, works. And you just want to have things parceled up, and but each piece falls into that into that uh, section. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the next one and the last one. Alright, so last up is the Naviri, and as you, a lot of you guys know, she's kind of been one of my pride and joy type ships for a very long time, and she breaks some of the rules. Now, the last two-thirds, or two-fifths, rather, are certainly flared out. I mean, I, I think that goes without saying, but, you know, things kind of fall in a line, more or less, um, in that cockpit extent is shorter but then again this is a little bit bigger ship we're talking closer to 300 meters um, and some of this stuff changes so this is these are just my thoughts and this is just remember this is me piecing together the different things that I think I know and that's why this one's an extra especially um, but if you look um, and it might be a little bit hard to see and I totally understand that it's partially the background and I should have chosen a better one um, Regardless, if you notice, the the different pieces are distinct. The engines are very obvious. The engines are incredibly obvious. And the front end, you can tell what the cockpit is. But then if you look along that center line, there are the hangers there behind the cockpit a little ways. You can tell, you know, they they stand out because of the, the different, differentiation with the colors. Everything else has these white stripes everywhere, and these don't. On top of that, especially if you look at it sideways, it's very flat. And actually, a lot of the ship is not quite as flat. Um, admittedly, I kind of this is one of those ships I want to go back and tweak like crazy. Um, also, just remember, in this case, I I didn't have a static docking thing. Going back to the first video that I did in, in this School of Design series. I didn't have a static dock, I didn't have anything that was already built, but um, just a little tip, I mean, I, I put in docking areas and then I expanded the crap out of them. And then I built everything and I still had to make it bigger to, to accommodate the two little pods on the sides right in front of the engines. So you know, give yourself extra space, you could always move stuff around, but give yourself extra space or build, you know pieces that are going to get docked early. Totally random. Again, it's 1am and I've been up like for way too long, so probably going to go to bed in just a few. However, um, yeah, so this is kind of a rough rule of fifths. I'm really kind of going for a flare out at like the, 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 the back end, the back end two fifths. And it will kind of give that ship a classic feel. You know, those are the ships that you class, you typically will look at and go, yeah, it has a nice silhouette. And when it has that flare, that that helps. Um, and then it comes to a point towards the front. The reason I wanted to show the Demeter earlier was that it broke that rule, but in a kind of subtle way while still keeping the rule. Um, it's, it's, the Demeter was an enigma. That was a weird ship to build. It was a lot of fun, but it was a weird ship to build. 
Anyway, um, I'm gonna call it here because I'm exhausted. And uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll try to produce another proper video for the School of Design uh, tomorrow. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry about my rambling. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you again next time.